our feet but Lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on earth moon stable land higher place than I have found Lord plant my feet on high We bless your name master master just tell the lord how much you love him thank him for his faithfulness his compassion his compassion i love you master I love you, 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 I love you. You are awesome. I love you, I love you, I love you. Kabala ya da 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 lo lo Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we worship. Clap your hands and take your seat for a while. Amen. I said, Amen. Have you been blessed? First Kings eighteen. We'll read verse 41 to 46 the usual custom first kings 18 don't forget tomorrow we have two sessions and the morning and the fire night so there's no evening session just morning then fire night amen first kings 18 for the one and elijah said unto Ahab, get thee up eat and drink for there is a sound of abundance of rain read this 42 and said to his servants go up now look toward the sea and he went up and looked and said there is nothing and he said go again seven times <laughs> so my just so that they won't say they didn't hear my voice and it came to pass in the meantime meanwhile the, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain and he rode and went to Jezreel verse 46 and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he gathered up his loins and ran before he to the entrance of Jezreel pray until something happens so let's handle the team maybe today and to tomorrow pray people call that push they call it operation push you pray until something <laughs> happens
happens. Pray until something happens. One of the qualities, or not quality, one of the attributes or attitude. Anyone who wants to advance in destiny and get to the utmost of his life in God. One of the characters that you must not possess is to be weary. I told us this morning when I was sharing with us that there are things we are waiting for God to do and God will not do it because we should do it. John the Baptist was waiting for him to come bring him out. He was waiting for John to come out. So you must understand there are certain qualities, attitudes, attributes, character that must be in a, in a person, an individual who has, who has the topmost top as his pursuit and his priority. There are certain attributes you must possess, but one of them that must never be found in you is to be weary, to give up. When Ahithophel was advising Absalom in 2 Samuel 17, he said, Absalom, let me tell you something. I will go against your father. I will get 12 men. I will get some people from verse 1 and 2, 2 Samuel 17. In verse 2, he said, when he is weary and weak-handed, I will make him afraid. When he's tired, One time, David was fighting a battle. He was fighting, he lifted up his hand. In 2 Samuel 23 verse 10, as he lifted his hand, the Bible said, his hand became weary. Rather than bringing his hand down, he left the hand with the sword. The sword entered his skin. David was the first king that was fighting using a sword and the sword stuck. The Bible said the sword clipped. Even with his hand open, the sword was still there. In Galatians 6 verse 9, the Bible said, Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we fight. I studied the Bible in Proverbs 24 verse 10. He said, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Meaning, anytime you are faced with a challenge, the problem is not the challenge. The problem is your strength. You allow challenge to overcome you. You are overcome by problem. You are overcome by sickness. You are overcome by difficulties. You are overcome by a miscarriage. Not because the problem was big but it's your strength that was small so when adversity comes into the life of a man what adversity checks is the strength of the man is the capacity of the man is the endurance measure of the man it checks the strength and checks the capacity of that individual Elijah the story we read from the Bible says <laughs> In James 5, from verse 16 and 17, the word of the Lord tells us, James 5, 16, 17, it says in verse 17, that Elijah, listen to me, was a man of like passion. He prayed earnestly that it would not, he prayed earnestly that it would not, and he prayed that it would okay we read from the bible where he prayed that it would rain that's what we just read now where he prayed that it would rain but there's nowhere we read that he prayed it would not rain now listen to this the bible says he prayed earnestly that it would not rain but concerning praying for it to rain, he prayed again. Meaning his prayer for the rain to come was nothing compared to the prayer he prayed that it will not rain. We don't see it in scripture where he prayed that it will not rain. Yes, Be 
people may not see your prayer but they can see your result nobody is interested in prayer if what you read you call that prayer the bible says you didn't see anything compared to what he did do you know in first Kings chapter 17 verse 1 he said now elijah now elijah and elijah he just appeared he didn't just appear from nowhere he just came out from the closet he came out from the secret place and listen to me from that chapter 17 to second kings chapter 2 elijah stole the stage he stole the center stage there was no protocol nobody asked him about his parents nobody asked him where he came from nobody desired to know his lineage after he spent time in prayer he came and he took over that tells you any man that can pray can break protocol any man that can pray we experience emergency announcement any man that can pray we experience overnight lifting after praying earnestly the man came out and occupied he came out and took charge he came out and dominated he came out and being control he looked at the king he said there shall not be rain except according to my word in other words i know what i have done i know things i have settled in the realms of the spirit i not i know i know spiritual realms i have entered into i know the price i have paid before he gave that prophecy he cooked it in prayer listen to me many of us are looking for prophecies that will manifest without backing it in prayer the solidity of your prophecy is proportional to the solidity of the prayer that is backing the prophecy am i talking to somebody right now now he prayed before the prophecy after the prophecy he locked himself again to pray so when the man of god gives you a prophecy don't start jumping go and pray that's why some people say oh they gave me a prophecy and look at that look at that it didn't happen he prayed even though hannah was of the lineage was of the lineage from uh, from, from, was of the lineage of the Jews when I did the study of the life of Hannah as a person I discovered Hannah had no reason to be barren because down through her lineage there was fruitfulness it was a bough b-o-u-g-h a bough that's where she sprung out from he said but there was fruit there was fruitlessness in her life until the Bible says first Samuel 127 Hannah said for this child I prayed I prayed and on the day of dedication Hannah said the Lord kill it and the lord make it alive how can you be dedicating a baby and you are saying the lord kill it and the lord make it alive what anna was saying was that before this baby came some people had to die before this baby came some people had to be slaughtered before this baby came some people had to be sent to extinction somebody say it is time to pray he prayed he prayed prayer empowers prophecy the speedy fulfillment of any prophecy is on the platform of the prayer that pursues it it's on the platform of the prayer that pursues it elijah said it will not rain he came back again he said it would rain to cancel what was said say something new to cancel what was said say something new in matthew chapter 5 verse 21 jesus said you have heard that it was said verse 22 he said now i say in verse 27 you have heard that it was said verse 28 now i say in verse 31 you have heard that it was said in verse 30 now i say in verse 32 you have heard that it was said in verse 33 now i say to somebody here 
it, it, the Bible says uh, in, in verse 40, 43, he said, You have heard that it was said in verse 44. Now I say, so no matter what was said, you have the capacity to say something new. No matter what has been said in the family line, you have the capacity to say something new. Let me just run through this. Elijah spoke to Hayab. He said, Run. Let the rain stop you. As he was saying that, he engaged himself in the place of prayer. And as he began to pray, he sent a servant. He said, Go and check. Go and check. Now, the servant went to check. He said, I see nothing. Elijah said, Go again. Seven times. All right? Write this down. For answers to prayer, cooperate agreement is essential. Cooperate agreement is essential. Cooperate agreement is essential. And I'm going to explain that in a bit. Cooperate agreement is essential. Hear me. What do I mean by that? No, there are certain dimensions of spiritual oppressions a man cannot assess alone unless he carries somebody to agree with him. The Bible says in Luke chapter 19 from verse 29, in Matthew 21 from verse 1, in Mark 11 from verse 1, he said, and Jesus sent two disciples, two disciples, he said, go to the city and the village that is over against you, that is over against you, it is bad enough when the village is over you, it is now terrible when the village is against you, another translation say, to the village opposite you, anything opposite you is against your position, because it's from the word opposite that we coin the word opposition when it says opposite you it means that which is against you he sent to one of them was from that village another was external because when you come from a family of battles you cannot deliver yourself alone you need an external force am i communicating right now and he says he says you need to number one he called him his servant he what every believer needs two people in the place of prayer i'm going to mention the two he called him what his servant there are prayers you need a father to pray on you <laughs> listen to this when the angel of god appeared to gideon he says thou mighty man of valor and Gideon said in Judges 6 13 he said where are the miracles that our fathers he didn't say our parents our fathers he didn't say our parents there's a difference between our parents and our fathers where are the miracles that our fathers told us about so what Gideon was saying is that even though my family is the is the minority in Manasseh I have a connection to fathers I have a connection to mentor I have a connection to someone I submit to and the angel said to him go in this thy might what was the might is relationship with fathers is relationship with a mentor he said by your relationship to your father you are drawing might you are drawing capacity you are drawing energy not what our parents told us what our fathers you see this generation don't join them many of them are going nowhere when you are going somewhere there are things you don't listen to if you have nowhere you are going in life you have no clear-cut destiny for your life then you can listen to people that tell you nonsense 
Paul said in Galatians 4:19, My little children, whom I travel in bed until Christ is formed in you. In other words, it is fatherhood that determines formation. It is fatherhood that determines formation. When you are connected to a father, you begin to form into something that looks like what he carries. Am I communicating here? our parents we live in a generation who tells you you don't need prayer when you say my father speak a word they say don't don't you have a father at home don't you have access to god and i stand to be quoted i stand to be quoted the weakest set of people are people that do videos against pastors they are the most weakest set of people. I dare them to do video against government. It's weakness. Talk is cheap. If you want me to see you as somebody who is bold, do one video against the president. If they don't pick you the next day. So you go for the weak ones who you know will not say anything. It's weakness. Talk like us who have spoken against leadership. Let's meet there. It's weakness. If you have liver, your intestines are well positioned. Open your mouth. That video, you are, they are the most deceptive set of people. They look for all the negative statements made by pastors and elaborate on it. That shows deception. That shows how, how corny and crafty they are. If you are not corny, why looking for negativity to push a narrative? You are more dangerous than the people you are speaking against. Quote me. Do a video on me. You are more dangerous. And I can tell you, one million videos has not closed one church. One million videos has not scattered one church. The more you do videos against preacher, the more you are announcing them. One of the people that does that was speaking against pastors all the time told me something one day. He has slowed down. He told me something. He said there's a woman that was giving them so much support, giving them support, a lot of support against churches and the rest. Hate churches. He said one day he called down for where are you on Sunday morning? He said, I'm in church, I'm in church, I will call you back. He said, Ah So I said to them, Some of those people that watch your videos watch it to pass time. They don't believe you. If you have boldness, do a video against Islam. It's because of people like you. That people will come out and they will say nonsense and you let them go scot-free. There are statements you will make against preachers and they will use scriptures. Use Psalm 19. Believers should use scriptures to, to answer you. He said, let, let, the, let the children be fatherless and let the husband be a widow. They will use scriptures, send scriptures to you. It is cowardice, cowardice, big cowardice. Big cowardice. Talk is cheap. It's big cowardice. Why are you calling people your father? Why are you calling them your father? Why are you calling them? If you are a bastard, no, but not everybody is one. Since you say you don't have father, not everybody is like you now. Am I communicating here? I ask, I ask that a lot. I ask these questions all the time. Many of us have the problem. Sometimes Paul will say, Timothy, my son. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.18 My son Timothy Concerning the prophecies That have gone ahead of you That by them thou mayest walk My son In the place of prayer You need a father There are statements A father will make That 40 days fasting can't handle If he opens his mouth And makes it I'm telling you you are not worshipping him. You are honoring the oil on him. Worship God alone. Honor a father. I, I, I don't know if you, have you 
discover the only thing prosperity and longevity is tied to is fatherhood honor that father and the mother in the lord that thy days may be long dishonor them you delete 15 years from your life am i communicating here okay let me ask you a question wait who blinded Saul on the way to Damascus? Who blinded him? Who struck him? Don't say God. What do you mean? Say, use the word Jesus, right? Jesus. Eh? Jesus. A light shone. The light overwhelmed the reins of his eyes and he went blind. Am I correct? Can't God open the eyes? Who opened it? Ananias! A father! him come to open this i got said no i don't work like that i work on principle there are things i will not do by myself when fathers are around i ask myself if a light shone in his eyes and he suddenly became blind why did another light not shine on his eyes so that the eyes can be open the bible said god said to ananias you, if in case you don't know ananias was saul's father in the lord the man that first meets you and teaches you expand scripture to you that's your father he said he said he is in a street called street in the house of one simon a tenor go there pray for him he said behold right now he prayed and he went there and opened that so god passed through principles stop listening to people who are using common sense to explain scripture the bible said the things of god are spiritually discerned you can never interpret the bible with logic you can't am i speaking here you can't when you have no plan for your life you can listen to anything when you have no focus and know where you are going in life any information is accessible and it's accessible is you know i mean is 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 believable but when there is a destination you are going somewhere you have a plan you have a clear cut agenda for your life there are some nonsense you don't listen to there are some things that you, you you throw to the trash can there are some things that are not necessary there are some things that are valueless to your future because of where i wasn't married when somebody said one they say ah, me when i'm married if i marry any woman that beating i will beat her any woman that just married, that just beat him. I wasn't married though. I was single. For that statement, we stopped being friends. He said, ah, why you know they see me again? I said, you were saying go beat your wife. He said, no, nah, talk now, nah, I don't marry. I said, no. It was a revelation of who you are. He said, what? I said, no. This friendship ends now because I'm planning to marry. With this kind of information in my ears. I said, I don't. when you have a, a, a goal, why do I honor my father and the Lord? It's because there is, there, is an, there is a future I have set and cut out for my life. There is a destination I am going. There are some things I am hoping to enjoy. There are some things I am hoping to assess. Am I talking to somebody here? There are some things I am oh, I'm hoping. So you need a father. Number two, you need, he said he was his servant. You need a prayer partner. Every believer must have a prayer partner to pray with him or her and a father to pray on him or her. You need to have one person who is a prayer partner. A person that can keep secret. A person that can keep your prayer information. Not someone that can announce you. But someone that can only report you to God. You must be careful. Not everybody that can pray can be a prayer partner. Nobody's following me here at all. Uh, there are people that have capacity.
ability to pray they can pray but their mouth is a leaking pipe when they carry your prayer points when they finish in the place of prayer they carry it to the market square when they finish in the place of prayer they carry it to the tv house when they finish in the place of prayer they carry it to their children I love my wife so much. You know that, right? You don't know. If you are here and you don't know, if I if I hear that you don't know. But I I I open up to her, but I, I can never tell her the problem of people. She's here. She does not even need it. I can never let my leg my head be on her lap like samson and delilah i won't talk i can never there are sometimes there are some issues going on and say why is this like this i mean when it goes open the team blows open he said why is that person why is they doing that why did i say eh? Eh? i have been away from the beginning since they reported themselves is better for me there are pastors who we are, people complain matters to them it became the topic of their message and the people almost died there are things in this head not a soul is aware. Can be aware. Why are you being aware? How many people have come to you in the place of prayer? They agree with you to pray. And the next thing, they became the topic of discussion. Forget that one is speaking. It never matter. No man is looking at her. For the past six months, nobody has asked her, How are you? How are you? They're just looking at her. What a shameless, shameless attitude. I'm trying to let you know. Not everybody that can pray should be a prayer partner. There are some people, even in the place of prayer, as they are telling them the prayer point you should pray with, their reaction alone can kill you. Say, brother, pray with me. Oh. For the past six months, no food. So, food is a problem. Rent a problem. Say, eh? Are you dressed like this? This prayer, this prayer, this prayer, this prayer. Say, are you dressed like this now? Wow, okay. Say, no, we'll pray, we'll pray. Looks can deceive. Oh, we'll pray. And you are a tighter. Say, yes. You are a tighter. And you are broke. Say, yes. So, you, no food. The way you have weights like that, I thought it's food, though. So, it's nature. Demoral. <laughs> Demoral. <laughs> demoralizes you I told you when I was is if is it 30 40 40 something day fast in the redeem camp some years ago I was to break at 42 so I was breaking every seven days every seven days I would seven days I'll break seven days out so I was to do the 40 but when I got to 40 I just said, okay let me exceed Moses and Elijah let me just see them at least put two days journal if moses get to heaven he say he did 40 i say shut up i did 42. <laughs> i was to break i met a man by the he was on the altar of the redeemed the old auditorium he was praying i he, he was dressed eh, with lace and everything he removed this yoruba cap knelt down i was singing in yoruba i was waiting I said, this man looked too dressed to be poor and i met him at the end of the prayer i said please sir I want to break. I don't do that thing before. This thing, forget. I've done it. So I understand it. That's why I can't mock you when you are going through it now. I've walked to somebody say, I've been waiting on the Lord. I want to break. There is nothing. The man say, really? Say yes. Say wonderful. I was following him. <laughs> wonderful. So you mean every seven days? Yes, say wonderful. And you know the old auditorium is big. I was following from one end to another end wonderful so you mean you have not broken the fast i said yes say wow and you have stamina like this seven days wow 
I just said, please assist me. He said, I know, I know, I know, I know. Wonderful. Wonderful. We got close to his car. He opened his car. He said, what church do you attend? And then I was in the Church of God Mission. I said, Church of God Mission. I said, oh. I said, yes. See, Daosa will be so ashamed to see that you are begging for money. Wonderful. Enter car and drove off. That day I vowed that I, this is the last day in my life I will ask anybody for anything. Till date, as I speak to you, nobody can hit his hand on his chest. See, I begged him, asked him stylishly, indirectly or directly. Are you following what I'm saying? I want you to get to a point in your life, in your walk with God. Understand, there are prayers. He said, if two shall agree, if two shall agree, if two shall agree, if two shall agree, in Acts chapter 3 verse 1, he said, now Peter and John. So Peter's prayer partner was John. Peter and John went to pray in the hour of prayer which was the ninth hour am i communicating here go and find your elizabeth you are a mary <laughs> you are a mary there is someone who is connected to your loins i pray for you today that the lord will direct you to heaven ordained prayer partners Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friends. God is going to direct you. All of you know my prayer partner. Most of you know my prayer partner. He doesn't have a big name. But he can pray. We can talk. And the matter stays there. Am I communicating here? Avoid praying with lousy people. Cut them off in the place of prayer. Relate with them as friends, but not in prayer. Lousy, very lousy. Not in the heavy your mouth. Not in the heavy your mouth. Not your mouth, not in the heavy. There are some things that are so heavy. Heavy. Your mouth is running. You, you, you talk like a rapper. You, you talk like a rapper. Even time cannot rap like you. You papa ropo ropo popo you just am I talking to somebody here? There are things people tell me. I ask them. I mean, for people they are close to. When they talk about it, I ask them, did they tell you this thing to tell me? Someone wanted to work for me in was somewhere and picked up the phone and was telling me what his former employer did to him and narrated not just what narrated the man's life when he finished i said thank you he said when will i come back i said call back to die do you want to call me back for your barrier said, don't call me again no. he says what did i just say wrong i said you spent 10 minutes finishing your former employer you will finish me if I employ you. I say, so don't call me again. He said, but sir, that's what I went through. I said, are you supposed to tell me? At 55, you don't have sense? Are you supposed to tell me? I am not programming your brain to become crafty. I am telling you what it takes to have a friend. There are many of us today, we cannot bring our... The Bible says, be careful for nothing. But in nothing, let your, pray, your prayers and supplication be made known unto God. Made known. There are some people today, we can't even bring our prayer point before brethren. This is why some people die in silence. Have you not seen people in church when they die? We are shocked. We are shocked to hear what killed them. That this was a sister who was not seeing disease in her body. She never talked. Why? If she opens her mouth, she becomes the top. In fact, the gossip will kill her before the sickness. If she opens her mouth and says she's going through marital crisis, everybody will hear it. So they died with the problem. 
We saw what happened. Say this person was there. Why didn't we know? Because they were worried on how you handle the information, even in the place of prayer. And let me run. Let me just walk out of this because it's getting me even angry. It's getting me to see how we can we can tear down ourselves. Somebody tells you that the, that um, she had she she made a mistake while in the world. Now she has no womb. Believe God with her, so she can have a child. Before evening, more than fifty people now know she has no womb. She left that church because of you. As if the mistake she made was willingly. You have a past like she has a past. Just that in your past you didn't miss Satan. When you were outside, Satan traveled, so both of you didn't meet. When she went to the market, she went to Satan's store directly. So you don't have to blame nobody. Am I communicating here? He said to the man, Go! Look at this, look at this, look at this. Elijah said to him, If you read from verse 41, 42 down, 42, 43 down, he said, Go up. Bring 42. He said to the servant, go up now. Look toward the sea. Go up. Look towards. Go. The sea is not up. It's the sky that is up. But look towards the sea. How you control the sea determines what you obtain from above. Your ability to control the sea Hey, Makasaya, this is the part I have been waiting for. I came to offend man made spirits. I came to offend marine spirits. Go look toward the sea. Elijah said, Marine spirit, they are in charge of fighting prophecies. I want to, I want to contend them. There's a prophecy I gave, and I've spoken to Ahab that Ahab should go and eat because there is abundance of rain. But there is a kingdom that fights prophecy. It is called the marine kingdom. In Isaiah 23 verse 4, he said the sea has spoken. The sea has spoken. Even the strength of the sea saying I travel not nor bring forth children. Meaning every woman contending barrenness is under marine attack. He said no nourish up young men. Meaning anytime you see a young man living a useless life with no future ambition the marine is at work he said oh bring up virgins anytime you see a girl a slave to sexual pressure the marine is manipulating her life i came to attack the marine kingdom i came to attack man-made spirits i came to attack the queen of the coast and i came to profess her the power of the marine is broken from your life <laughs> I say it's broken from your life. 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 Every man made power. Queen of the coast. Queen of the river. Ancient queen. Mami was her spirit. Power in the sea. I break their hold. The power of the marine. Fighting your prophecy. I break their hold. I break their power. 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 Somebody shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. When your prophecy is delayed, the marines are at work. 
he said, Boy, why you why you go up? Look toward the sea. That is where there's a content because this earth was called out of water. Am I communicating? That's the hold the devil had over us. The earth. Are you aware that we have more water on the earth than landmines? If you do lots of travels, you understand that. Am I communicating? That how the earth is more flooded than you've got landmines. So the marine having a feed day. God created you naturally. God created you naturally to rest. Let me ask you a question. When God asked, I asked the Lord one day, I said, when you started creation, why didn't you create man on the first day? So that you and man can supervise every other creation. God said, no. I created man on the sixth day. And I rested on the seventh day. So that man can enter into rest with me. into the galaxies the palaces the heavens the earth everything the cloud the sky everything was formed man just walking like a vip and by creation god transferred himself into man that's all i was telling you the holy ghost, holy ghost conference god transferred his thinking his ideology that is why when he brought Adam, he said, name this. The Bible said to see what he would call them. Whatever Adam called them, that was the name. He didn't see, the Bible said that was the name. He didn't say that would be the name. That was the name. Well, the name God had in his mind was the name Adam mentioned. Adam did not name God's creature. Adam only took the name from God's mind and called the animals the name. When God, Adam said, God said, what is this? Adam said, this is lion. God said, he got it. That is the name I gave it in my mind. What is this? He said, this is fish. God said, he got it. The, the name, he got God's intuitive ability. God's pattern of thinking. God's, that is what is called likeness. Image and likeness. God had named them, but he coded them. He had given all the animals name, but he coded them. He said, Adam, come. Let me see if you have my IQ. What is this? Adam said, lion. Ah! He got it. What is this? It's a fish. Ah! The Bible says, any name he called them, that was the name. So God created man to enter and assess rest. But there is a power of the sea. That was what frustrated Moses. 